Yo, what's up? We're Yo. Loaded, and this is a tutorial of our single Keep in Mind featuring Shai Martin. And uh, we're gonna go through the project and go through a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, hope you like this one. Let's go. So, the start of the song is actually kind of basic. It's just the, gu the guitar, which actually was in the demo that we got from yeah. uh, Shai and. Uh, Fred Alexander or Freddy Death. So the whole guitar in the track is actually from him. Yeah. So exactly. we can't go really that in depth about that, but we can see like it's a very good guitar and we loved it so that's why we kept it in the song. Yeah. But the song starts off with the lead melody, like the drop melody, because we thought it was such a catchy sound and catchy melody. So it was nice to introduce it in the beginning. But we're gonna show you how we made the sound later on when we get yeah. to the drop. So yeah, let's play the beginning here. Yes, we start. Okay, so um, here is the guitar that we talked about. And it's uh, two layers, this, uh, this layer and then like the bass layer. Have, um, as you see, we have nothing on the track, like uh, we have no effects on the guitar because it was yeah. so good from the beginning. Um, and then, as Toby said, we have the lead melody here, and it's the same processing as uh, in the drop, but we filter it down. But we will go more in depth on that later. Yeah, um, and then we have also this. Uh, clock ticking sound which is just like a yeah. sample that we took in uh, EQ a bit here as yeah. you see it's just like filtered down as well yeah. as you can use now and that's just like nice to keep the tempo because this song yeah. has like kind of high BPM and we kept it on not like usually you would go half tempo oh a notification so this song is kind of high tempo so it's like 136 BPM yeah but so usually people will like go half tempo, but we kept it like kind of rocky sound because it just fit the vibe of the track so good. So yeah, to keep that tempo and show like okay, this is a high energy track from the beginning. It's just like nice, good yeah. introduction. Yeah, um, and then we also have um, this sound here in the beginning. But as you can see in the project, like all this. Um, sounds down here like all this audio files is the stems we got and we kept like some of them and then up here is our production so yeah yeah so there's really not much happening there no. either in the first part of the verse because it's just a guitar yeah and it's like basically very simple it's with the vocal over of course yeah we have like this little clap coming in when the song uh when the vocal starts but it's it's nothing special. Yeah. So that's the pre uh, pre chorus. Um, so we added like a bunch of drum drums here. Um, we can solo the drums. So this is the main kick here. It's, uh, I think it's the same uh, kick that we used in Binder than that. So, yeah, it's a good kick. Yeah, and we will keep the chain open here so you can like, yeah, at any time pause the video and just like if we have a track open, you yeah. will see and uh, just pause and see what we did on the chain. Exactly. So we have like a little EQ to down here yeah. at around two hundred. That's something I bet both you and me do like. 200 hertz on the kick is yeah. just like not not good. <laughs> no, it's not good. Like it's on the bass as well. It's yeah. Like 200 hertz, not the best, not the best frequency area. And then we have like uh, like a bunch of percussion stuff, but it's like we we just added those to like have more rhythmic stuff. We don't yeah. really have like a bunch of effects on those. 
and this uh, like tambourine is just like a transition thing to make the transition a bit cooler. Interesting, yeah, because if nothing happened there and it just like directly went into a pre, then it would be like what happened there. So yeah. to have like transition parts like that in some type of way is just like good to keep the flow because otherwise it would feel choppy. Um, yeah. That looks so satisfying for the. And this is the clap. With a bit of reverb on. And then we have this as well, uh, which is uh, addictive drums. Uh, so yeah. And then a little bit of EQ on that one as well. Um, then we don't have like a bunch of other stuff. We have like this, like a hi hat. Open hi hat ish. That's also like a. FX sound almost more than actual open hand. Yeah. So that's the drums. Uh, as we said, uh, Freddy had like some drums that we kept in as well, like this uh, trap snare. And also like a clock. And then some sweep ups here. Um, so yeah, that's the drums in the pre. So let's get into the scenes. Yeah. Um, so this one is like a kalimba, um, it's Omnisphere, this one, and uh, yeah, a bit of EQ on that one. Yeah. Sometimes I know some kalimbas I used at least have like some resonance to them, yeah. they are kind of, I don't know, it's a very ringy sound, so just get those out of there so it's it's also not so satisfying for the ear. Yeah. Um, and then this uh, like ambience sound. And this is also om Omnisphere. Um, it's it's a preset I always use. I think it's called like Light S R or something. And then I just like uh, drawing two to tones on the MIDI and then I bounce it out um, and use it like an ambience stuff. Um, and here, I think this is like a block, yeah. And this one, it's a preset uh, our friend sent us, and um, yeah, we use it all the time. Yeah, it's Could very it? good. Yeah. So thank you, Thor. <laughs> then we have this one. It's... Because it's sidechain to the kick. Yeah, with the uh, Ableton's uh, compressor. Um, yeah, this is a preset we did. Um, it's called Fat Pad. <laughs> guess it's yeah. fat. And it's just like a saw, saw wave uh, with a filter, and then this like noise thing you have in uh, yeah. Serum. Like, almost sounds like water ish. Yeah. Um, as I said, this is a fat pad, so this made like the whole sound picture, what you call yeah. it, like to make sound so much fatter and wider. Yeah, and this part. also have like a lot of bass in yeah. it as well. Um, and then we have this one. And this all, yeah, this this almost sounds like a like a horn. Um, I don't really remember how we did this one, but we have. It sounds like a horn, at least. Yeah, um, but we have like this LFO linked to the detune, so when so when you like trigger the note, it has more detune and then it goes into having like less detune. Um, and then we just uh, filter it up towards like the chorus. And then we have two bases down here. And this is just like a sub and this is more like a mid mid bass. Yeah, like a read space. Yeah. To cover because you wanna cover up the whole sound spectrum. Exactly. And then there it like builds up because if you heard the song, the next part is the chorus and that is like super it just goes into nothing. It gets so dry. -ish. Yeah. And then we wanted to just build up as much as possible there to really get I don't know, a big change to get those dynamics in there so the song is very interesting all the time. Yeah. 
Um, so other than that, we have like this sweep up here. Um, yeah, that's basically it. We ha we also did like <coughs> the last bars have like four on the floor, so it builds even more. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the chorus. So we don't really have like a bunch of stuff in here. It's just like the sick guitar, which is here. Yeah, with an EQ doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, you were so ready to do. Then we added uh, these claps. You can see they are very dry. Yeah. At this part. It's very like dry and very wide. Yeah. So coming from like the claps in the pre, where we said that we want to build it up, and those claps has like reverb and they are big compared to this one, so you can really see the dynamic change that we had in mind for that part. Yeah. And then we also have these. Which is like almost like ghost uh, notes. And we have like all the clap sounds like a bit different, and that makes it sound like even more real, like it's something, someone actually clapping. Yeah, like we. Then you can like kind of change the velocity. -ish. Um, then coming into this. Uh, second half of the pre-course we're adding more drums again so then we added like this one and I think this is like cashmere loop or something yeah. um, and then this uh, trap knife With a bit of EQ, and then we filter it up with a, this uh, auto filter. Then we added back this uh, ambient thing that we talked about, and the pluck. Also, this fat pad and the horn uh, thing, the bass. Then we also had a, yeah, this one, and this is a uh, keyscape, and then this mini student butterfly piano. <laughs> um, but I um, bounced it out because when you use this sound, the light, when you draw it in in MIDI, the sound comes like after, so I bounced it out and then put it like a bit. That way. <laughs> yeah, like a bit um, and then this electric bass sounds really bad actually. Yeah, by itself. But I think we said this in an other video that everything doesn't have to sound perfect by itself. Yeah. Because it can, if it can make something sound good as a whole thing. Which that's the oh computer style. We're back in one minute. Do, 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 do. Back. Back. Sorry, I was on my phone. It took so, so long time. Um, but yeah, where I started, or where I was with the bass, to it doesn't sound good. So everything doesn't have to sound perfect by itself. Just as long as it sounds good in the mix, that's very yeah. important. So I think we added this bass because um, when we only had like the guitars, it felt a bit empty on the low end. So then we added this bass. Yeah, and that bass as well is like. Because the guitar is like, it fits the sound really well because this yeah. bass is also like, supposed to sound kind of live. So it went good together with the guitar. Yeah. Um, and then we just uh, had like a filter that's low carrying it towards the drop. So when, when you come like close to the drop, you low cut the bass. So then when the drop hits, you get like more bass again, so it hits yeah. like harder. Then we have this one. And that's uh, 
element synth. Just the preset. Good one. Good one. Approval. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're teasing some uh, some of the drop uh, melody. have this sound which is actually like a friend of mine that just like recorded like a vocal of him screaming and then we took like reverb and stuff and made this one um, and then it's just sweep ups and good stuff yeah it's just like basically classic build up okay should we get to the probably the most interesting part in yeah. the song the drop so as we spoke about earlier, the drop melody. I'm gonna show you all the layers and the processing behind the vocal shop thing that's in there. Yeah, um, and also we have this little fill before the drop. Which is also addictive drums. Yeah. But we took a little low cut because we used like this kick with uh, uh, the addictive drums as well, but as we have a main kick as well, we wanted to locate it so they don't clash or yeah, whatever. So it becomes more like a top kick. Almost. Yeah. So yeah, let's start with um, the vocal shop melody. So we have three different layers. Um, this one. And this one. And this one. But um, this is the main layer. So we're gonna show you how it sounds dry. And we're gonna go into all the effects and why we added them. So this is uh, how it sounds dry. So yeah, we just chopped up some cool parts from the vocal and made like a melody. And as you see, we pitched. Like for example, this tone we pitched up two semitones, so yeah. you and can you do can that. You can see that there. Yeah, it's like very and small on the left. And you can also change like this form and thing on here as well if you want to change like the tone of the vocal. Then we added uh, this plugin, little alter boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah <you> can see <laughs> pitch and form. Yeah, so we pitched it up at twelve. Uh, semitones yeah and then formatted it down a bit which makes it i don't really know how to explain it but it's almost mm. like you pitch it down again but it sounds like different yeah, it's like a different type of pitch i don't actually know how to explain format i know mm. that's good i don't know what you either but it's almost like a pitch as well but yeah it makes it sound different. but and then we had uh, this drive and that's like a distortion um and this distortion is really good for vocals, so we use this one. Then uh, this uh, reverb. <laughs> yeah, vintage, low yeah. vintage. And it's at 50%, so yeah. it's pretty light. It sounds pretty wet. Valhalla has really good reverbs, if yeah. you guys want to know. <laughs> it, they have this vintage verb and the shimmer, I don't know if they have more. They have uh, Val Valhalla Room as well, ah, which yeah. is good. Yeah, so strongly recommend. Then we also have another reverb, I don't really know why, but this is like a really short reverb and this like changes the tone of uh, the, the vocal shop. So we can show you how it sounds with it first. And with this one. Yeah, it sounds almost the same. <laughs> I don't know. Then, Small stuff can make different. Yeah, and then uh, this EQ. And I think we explained this before, this is like the resonance tones that we took yeah. down so it doesn't sound sound hard. Yeah, because it's like this resonance tones can kind of hurt your ear. It's yeah. not like, it's like you want to just like, ah, yeah. you want to get out of the way. And this is like the boring part, but you have to like s scroll through like yeah. this while you're playing the sound. And when you find like a really bad resonance tone, you take it down. It's a vibe. Then this compressor, um, and that's uh, just for sidechain. Then also this multiband compressor, and that's like this we use all almost yeah. like a de-esser. 
Yeah, because every time th this one hour uh, just kicks in when those frequencies are being played, like or when they are like showing up. So it's not like an EQ changes the sound all the time, but yeah. this only changes when that actually happens on yeah. the. Yeah, you can choose thing. like the threshold here. Yeah. So the threshold is basically one so at what dB you want. Yeah. The so it, it's like compressing different frequencies yeah. of the actual sound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to explain it better, but it's kind of that. And then uh, this one, and this is, uh, I think it's like pretty similar, but it, we formatted it, this one down even more and we did it pitch it up. And then we have the OTT which is a multiband compressor and this this is a pretty low on the dry and wet but it's just to make it a bit brighter and then I think we have yeah a pretty short reverb on this one and then the EQ again yeah. and this one which didn't really <laughs> make really? any difference <laughs> um, and then we have this one and I think this is almost like, yeah, this is very reverby. This is also pitched up a bit, formatted down, and then at 64% yeah. reverb. And then I think this is, yeah, this is at 100. So it sounds like really, it sounds almost like you're in a bathroom or something. Yeah, like it's super far away. So yeah, that's the free vocal shop layers. Yeah, and then like under that there is a bunch of different other sounds, or not a bunch, but a few different yeah. sounds that I actually sounded. So when he showed me later on, he had added like this choir, which I thought was really <laughs> funny because it sounded so funny by itself. Yeah, so I think it's this one. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, Omnisphere. It's like, it's just a preset um, here. Um, then low cut it a bit. Yeah, did it again. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then this one, it's it's just for like the build up. This one as well. And then we side chain. Um, and then we have this one, a serum presets. And this one makes like harmonies of the lead melody. Um, low cut it a bit. Some reverb, some EQ. Side chain. Sound really good together. Yeah, and then this one. And this is uh, the synth we showed you before from uh, Waves, some low cut. And this one, this is a really good plugin for yeah. distortion as well. It's really good, it's fat filter Saturn. Saturn. And then reverb again, some EQ. Uh, and this one. And this make it's a stereo imager, so it makes it sound wider. And this, it's a also a weird sound. Omnis Omnisphere again, and some EQ, more EQ, and uh, the side chain. And this yeah. is more like to make the sound sound a bit brighter and yeah. sound a bit more. Like organic. Yeah, because it also had this attack, so you, hear, you really hear like when the notes are hitting. So yeah, and then we also have this one. And this one is like, almost like, because this... That's like the first part of the melody. Yeah. And so then we like have like this, and it's almost like an answer of the other melody. And we did this with a other sound, which is the serum sound. It's the plug we talked about before, but we did something with it. I don't really yeah. remember, but it sounds a bit different from before. And so then it's like an A B A B melody. Yeah, exactly. And then EQ, EQ, and this filter for the build up to filter it up. And same with this one and. Then side chain, which we don't use. <laughs> so yeah, that's the lead melody. We can play it together. C. 
sick, right? Yeah, that's how you make a drop melody. <laughs> so then we're gonna go into the synth chords. This is the same ambience again. Yeah, yeah the ambience to shit out yeah. of everything. But now we have some side chain on because now the kick is playing. We have like ghost kick, so it triggers when the ghost kick is playing. And then this uh, piano again. I think we just on the build up we took down the volume 5 dB and now it's playing uh, up 5 dB. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, this is like the main uh, synth chords. It's it's the same preset as we used in. I wanna know. You see, I wanna know chords. Yeah. Um, and I don't remember how we did this sound because it was like a long time ago. But you can see, you can see it here. Maybe it was you can learn when some. I went into his student bedroom <laughs> and he was sitting there and he showed me that I wanna know that he started on. Um, it was good times. Good times. Um, yeah, but this is the preset. Some low cut. Um, this reverb. Slap bass. Slap the bass, man. Um, some more EQ here, boosting some nice frequencies, yeah. taking down some uh, ugly frequencies. Yeah, to look at like synths, yeah. usually, because you 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 have the bass there, which taking like over yeah. like the sub part, so the synth could be better for like mid or like yeah. maybe low mid some cases. Yeah, so, if you have like a bunch of synths playing low ends as well, it will sound like messy with yeah. the bass but yeah that's the synth we have some more reverb here very nice then we have the bass again the ugly bass yeah. sounds kind of plastic yeah but it, this was very good for like this yeah Yeah, but it sounds like good in the mix, and that's yeah. what matters. And there's yeah. like a sub air bass underneath, which is just playing yeah. sub air because that is not so sub. You see, this is way harder. Yeah. Um, and this is, it sounds almost like a mood bass, I think. It's this uh, element synth sidechain, CLA bass. Toby's favorite. Yeah, project. this is my. <laughs> I love CLA. I use like CLA guitar the most, but you can see it's on rip. Yeah. And that's RIP the distortion. Man. So without CLA. And with. Oof. Mm, good stuff. Um, Some EQ, boosting some lows. More bass, you know. Kickstart. I don't know why we have that because we into the kick but yeah very cool the more group um but yeah that's that actually that's the synth and then we also have the drop guitars playing yeah and yeah we're gonna talk a bit about the drums as well Bit of EQ, you know, the 200. <laughs> Get that away. Get that out of the picture. And this is like a top kick. And we also have the top kick playing here with addictive drums. And I think this is, yeah, that's the tambourine that is in the pre as well. Some claps. Like, uh, hey! And the uh, clap in the pre, these claps, the cashmere loop, um, and this is some foley stuff, very weird, I think this is like from a medicine pack or something, um, some shaker, sick, <laughs> And this like tight clap, and I think this is a tom. I'm not sure. Yeah. So the whole group together. 
Nej, det har vi inte roligt. Vi har drum. Vi har drum group. <laughs> Yeah, we don't uh, EQ the drums that much because I think like the samples today sounds all, already so good so you don't really need to do much with them if you don't want to like change how it sounds. And then it's like over time, I know at least when you have made a couple of songs you kind of have like your favorite kick you use sometimes yeah. and you like build your own sample pack and then you of course find new stuff for each song. But yeah. Then you kind of know what to do with the kick and stuff like that, so... Yeah, um, and other than that we have like impact. Yeah. Nice. Very important. This one is going like through the whole song. It's like just a note Freddy played on the guitar. And I guess he put like some reverb. And stuff on. Yeah, but that's the drop basically. Yeah, and then after the drop is the verse two, but before there's like a quick little break to get like a room for breathing because it's so <gasps> high intense there. Like with yeah. the whole thing, the build up and everything as we said, it's a high BPM sound so you want room to breathe. So it's a small little tickety tone <laughs> for the <laughs> second verse. Yeah, so this is the tickety tone. <laughs> And in that little tickly tone, it's just the guitar note, as we talked about, and this piano playing the first chord. And uh, you need a bass, man. Yeah. Cool stuff. And in the second verse, it's pretty much the same thing as the first verse. It's simple, some chords, the kalimba. The only thing we did like different was adding some more drums to keep the energy up. Yeah. So it's like basically the same as in the pre, but yeah. not all the stuff, like not all the clap and stuff like that. Yeah. Just you don't want it as the same as the first verse, like just this happening some change because it would just feel like you would copy paste the whole thing and that's like kind of boring yeah so you need to do something so that like you can hear the tempo going on there with the perks and stuff then yeah. it goes into the pre the, and the pre again is same thing yeah that is um, copy paste yeah, yeah. <laughs> the producers know what we're talking about <laughs> the first part of the chorus again is also copy paste but then we In the second half we added this kick and it's the same kick as in the pre but that's just to like make the second build up a bit more special yeah. a bit more unique something different happening yeah so that's the build up drop then, again yeah and then the second half of the drop it's just Adding Sean Martin's vocal back in. Yeah. Uh, so the the second drop is like a double drop. Yeah. It's the double length. So in the second half of that drop, we added back the vocals. Yeah, that's just because that's the chorus part. So we felt it was a really nice part to end with that. So yeah. you kind of get that because it's a very hooky melody as well, it's like hook nation. <laughs> <laughs> and after that. <laughs> Yeah, and with the melody again because you really want to get that in people's head because it's yeah. very catchy. And also ending with the guitars we talked about in the beginning. And yeah, the filtered down lead melody. Sicko mode. And that's pretty much it actually. Yeah. That's the whole song. I hope you learned something about it. And if you want to know like more stuff about how we made stuff, you can comment stuff below yeah. and we will answer 
we'll try to show everything but it's hard to really like show exactly everything so if you have some more questions as Sam said just comment we'll try to answer everything and you can always DM us on Instagram or send us mails or whatever yeah. we will we'd love to talk to you guys and try to answer everything so thank you for watching thank, thank you, you. Thank you.